Entitled, a word meaning eligible or deserving, a word that defines me, but entitled to what? For the longest time, I didn't see. See, I thought I was entitled to earthly glory, using my gifts and talents to build my life story. I had it all planned out, building a life about me, expecting others to want to come and see of my accomplishments and what I could achieve. A world revolving around me is what I believed. I put my identity in status and possession, but at the end of the day, I was left with depression. Now I had accepted Christ, but trying to serve two masters, feeding my desires of flesh, only created disaster. I trusted God with my eternal salvation, but with the rest of my life, I made limitation. I didn't view God as a means of survival, and so I continued on this worthless cycle, thinking that while I was on earth, I would live for myself, and as long as things were working out, God could go on the shelf. But eventually, my selfish living caught up with me. I was in a place of desperation, trying to plead with God to pick me up from out of this hole. I dug myself so deep and was completely out of control. And that's when God had me where he wanted me, in a place I would finally hear. My life with all its earthly pursuits, now like a slate that's wiped clear. I realized my choices didn't bring me life. I put my identity in things that only brought strife. I sought out contentment in the things of earth I desired, but when you're created by God, that's not how you're wired. God was starting me fresh, giving me a mind of clarity, where I could finally see my earthly ways of irregularity, realizing it wasn't about me or the life that I live, but about the one who saved me, the one who forgives. See, I was entitled, I was deserving. But what I was eligible for was that I should be burning, separated from him who I would daily forsake, all for the purpose of making my name great. But see, that's why Christ stepped in with unconditional love, 2,000 years ago coming from his heaven above, humbling himself in this world so he could die in my place, putting to death all my sins because of his grace. So that by his payment through death and resurrection, I am now viewed by the Father as having perfection. God's riches at Christ's expense. He took the fall for my capital offense. So now I am entitled, but not by my doing, but because he wanted to save me and give me renewing. See, I was already dead in my trespasses and sin, and he reached out, grabbed me, and breathed new life in. That's why it's not about me or my talents or gifts. He gave me those things so I could use them to shift the focus on him and what this life is about pointing others to the only saving route, by trusting in His undeserving provision, not by our works, but by our decision. In the Bible, James refers to our lives as a mist. It's such a short period of time that we even exist. So why make it about us and our life that is rotten, just so we can one day die and then be forgotten? But if we've accepted Christ's gift of eternal salvation, then He's already given our lives rejuvenation, and we should use every minute and every breath to direct others away from their impending death. There will come a day when it will be too late. That's why it's so important we do something now and not wait. In Mark 16 verse 15, Jesus tells us to go out into the world so that others will know. So you can do it the way I did for most of my youth, living internally focused, never spreading the truth. But we are entitled to be his instruments. That's a gift, not a chore. So let's live our lives in a way that shows others there's more. More to this world and what it provides. Though what earth fulfills is a fulfillment of lies. So I beg that you would take these words to heart. Spread his message to others. If you haven't, please start. We are created for so much more. Don't miss your opportunity. Spread Christ's love and grace throughout your community. If you've accepted his free gift, then you've already won. Now spread that truth with others till the day he says, well done.